The first half of this book ends with the solo, The Clock is Ticking. This solo utilizes both double vertical and single independent strokes, just like you've worked on, and it's all on the lower manual. It starts with the right hand playing a prominent eighth note motive, but it needs to definitely decrease in volume because the left hand has the melody throughout much of this solo. There's a lot of double verticals, so you want to make sure you're striking both mallets of that hand together. You can't hear a lot of flams on this one. And you want to make sure that the melody hand, not the repetitive eighth note hand, is the one that we hear more of. The dynamic says mezzo piano when the melody comes in, but that means the melody is mezzo piano and your accompaniment hand, which in this case is your right hand, needs to be less. We incorporate single independent strokes, but only in a couple of sections in this solo. There's a couple of fast lines between mallets two and three, and you've worked on some of that in your large and small scale segment exercises. But most of this exercise are double vertical strokes. One of the more difficult measures with your double vertical strokes in this solo is measure 10. It requires you to play a stroke tempo that's relatively fast. We're at eighth notes at tempo 120. But you have to change intervals pretty quickly. You're going to be at a fifth most of the time up to this point, and then you have to go to a fourth and a third relatively quickly, relatively quickly in stepwise motion. You're not going to be able to stay on that interval for a long period of time. You've practiced this in other exercises, it's just this time it happens pretty quickly and it's in a musical context. Most of this solo is comprised of fourths and fifths. Those are really comfortable in your hand. But there are just a few measures where you need to play a second and a sixth and they move quickly back and forth from each other. This is a great opportunity to practice your interval expansion. I also want you to be aware of your elbow in these bars. Remember, when you play that sixth, your elbow will be bisecting the interval, but then you need to move up and play a second right after the sixth, and that's when your elbow is going to come away from your body. Make sure you let the beating spot be your guide for your elbow. That way you're going to get an even and consistent tone throughout all of your mallets. This solo has a range of tempo markings that are okay for you to play it at. However, you're going to want to start much slower. The first two bars are easy, so don't be fooled into starting with a really quick tempo just because you can play the first two bars there. There are several sections that are going to require quite a bit of work before you play it at that performance tempo. So make sure you start really slow, find those bars that are tricky, maybe circle them, those are the ones you're really going to work on before you aim for that performance tempo. Even then, you might want to play those few difficult bars at the performance tempo, but isolated, before putting them in context of the entire solo.